decorated skaters in history glided into Regina this weekend for the eighth of 30 stops on the Thank You Canada tour. Exactly a year ago, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer were in the Queen City, but with a much different goal in mind. Claire Hanna talked to the iconic duo about how things have spun around in the last year. The last time Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer were in Regina, they had their sights set on Pyeongchang, and their goal was to capture another Olympic gold medal in ice dance. In a very different frame of mind. <laughs> we were pretty much not looking past that competition. We knew we had to win. We knew it was a big one, but we were all about the Olympic Games already, so we are trying to simulate, and we are under a lot of pressure. They debuted their famous Moulin Rouge routine at the Brand Centre. <laughs> provocative performance earned them a gold at the Skate Canada International event, breaking a world record in the process. I remember sitting in the kiss and cry and knowing that there was some kind of record set, but just thinking ahead and thinking how can we improve and sort of already breaking down and criticizing our performance and that's just the mindset of an athlete. The iconic duo went on to earn not one, but two gold medals in Korea. And now that they're returning to Regina for the Thank You Canada Tour, they're aiming to impress a different crowd. It's much harder for us and more fulfilling to, to try and please 5,000 people versus just nine judges and that's more what we're into these days. <laughs> it's been two decades of, of people really invested in our career and connected to our performances. The ice dancers are still undecided about retirement. Both agree they're ambitious outside of their skating goals and Virtue hinted she wants to pursue an MBA. But both agree they want to help grow the sport. I think the big thing that, that we're passionate about now is kind of giving back to the next generation. This tour is a great way to do that, kind of inspire young skaters. How do you compete with something like the year we've had in 2018? Uh, so many highlights, so many memorable moments. Um, but as Mike Babcock told us once, this can't be the pinnacle, this can't be the peak of our lives. Now the world will await the next chapter of their fairy tale. Until then, thank you, Tessa and Scott. Claire Hanna, CTV News, Regina.